Okay, let's get started now. Hello everyone, thank you for joining. So this is a live session, live stream. And this is the 10th of June on Thursday. So I hope you're having a great day today. Last three days were video sessions, but today this is a live stream. And um, looks like the market has been ranging right now and retracing after the uh, CPI report. CPI was there in the US and uh, the market USD was sold and uh, so USD currency was sold and gold was up but um, looks like they are going against the major directions so looks like it's been still ranging so let's see so today is like a free talk so uh, I will screen charts and uh, share my impressions Oh, by the way, the uh, the trade for, uh, on the uh, yesterday, the pound JPY, my trade uh, went uh, to uh, to a slight loss. I got the five pips of loss, but uh, other than that, there is no positions. I don't have any positions right now. It's been a slow days recently, so hope to hope to uh, come, hope to uh, see bigger trends and uh, stable, more stable trends in a later part of June. Okay, so let me squeeze my face. Okay, there we go. So, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information today is um, basically based on my own experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk management. And please follow the guidelines and rules in the live streams of video sessions, then that will be great. Okay, so let's see. Alright, I can still start to see players coming in the live stream. Thank you for joining everyone, good to see you. As always, Asif, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. CG, good to see you. And Juan, good to see you too. Caroline, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. And LA, thank you for joining, good to see you. Danish, good to see you too. Alright, James and Christopher, Jeff, thank you for joining. Alright, Jay and Pete, Danny, Radko and Dai, Ismail, thank you for joining everyone, great to see you. Yeah, the pound JPY trade, I, I got the loss in uh, five, 5 pips of loss, I got and exited there. Yeah, I saw the reverse in the way in 5 and exit it so i had a slight loss in pound jpy but make sure that i don't have a big big loss even if even the market reaches to the stop loss i only lose two percent so which is still safe but usually i exit before the market hits a stop loss so usually my drawdown is uh one percent uh, and it won't go up to two percent usually unless the market spikes up and downwards or unless big, there's big events um, I usually exit before the stop loss hit all right David thank you for joining good to see you here all right Nassar good to see you too thank you for joining from Sweden nice to see you all right Elzaki and Son thank you for joining too Kaliash and Ray, Enzo, thank you for joining. Gustavo, Melanie, and Guy, good to see you. Thank you for joining, everyone. So, I'm just starting slowly here because um, I know that traders are coming in to the community. So, usually for the first 5 minutes and 10 minutes, I go slowly here. So, Let's start to look at some pairs and see what's happening by Ichimoku here. So let's see. So here is Euro JPY. Let me fit on the screen like this. Okay. And um, yep. So here is the Euro JPY. And uh, I've seen that this is uptrending uh, because this is a daily chart and I see the Kumos have been up. Kumo is up right now, and uh, Kijun Sen is sort of moving up today. 
and it's close span above the candles and this is bullish in the daily basis i expect the market goes up on the bullish new waves like this way so there was a pushback and i expect the market breaks the resistance level of 134.159 level it's my view first of all but today it's been ranging it's a doji candlestick today so there is no trend on this particular pair so i think i will i won't take any trace because usually after this live session ends or today there will be a ichimoku membership live stream afterwards but uh, usually i after the live stream ends and if i don't have any trends then simply i go to bed and come back to chart on the next day so let's see what's gonna happen all right pete good to see you here thank you for joining he says i'm having challenges around exit so anything you can cover on that would be great so yeah exit timing is uh is i would say more difficult than the entries psychologically too it's more difficult because for the entries you have hope and you have expectations but when it comes to exit especially in the loss uh so for some people it might become painful it might be stressful so psychologically speaking exits are more difficult than entries but you have to create scenario for exits too especially until you see the break-even line you have to be on the scenario and if the market goes against you then simply you exit So let's say, for example, if you start to see reversing the wave after you take a buy, let's say on the 5 minute chart, the 15 minute chart, then simply you exit. I mean, that will be one of the exit timings. So, uh, but yeah, the, the point is to become a non losing trader. So make sure you don't lose big on each trade and keep planting. Keep planting the seeds until one or two sprouts and that requires patience of course okay guys says uh, this week has been challenging to trade how is your month or June so far the month of June so far has been a bit loss I took uh, four trades for the month of June and it's been a loss still so I am hoping, I am actually waiting for the next big wave to come. But every time I take trades, these are the timings where the potential big wave comes. Simply, if it doesn't come, then I will exit. But these are the entry edges, entry timings, where I see the potential next big wave. So here in this case too, for example, on this Euro JPY, I say that the Kumo is moving up and Kijun Sen is up right now, technically, price above the Kijun Sen Kumo and Chikou Span above the candles. And now we had the pushback and the market looks to be uptrending this way. But today it's been ranging. Today is the Doji candles ticket has been ranging, so there is no direction for today. But if today was bullish, and let's say tomorrow will be bullish, then I look for the buy chance and expect the market breaks the resistance level of 134.159 level. But this becomes possible because I follow the daily chart or the four chart trends. Otherwise, no trace. So let me switch it to other pair. Euro USD. This is still flat uh, because uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is flat, and Chikou Span is too close to the candles. And if you see the market structure, it has been uptrending since uh, 31st of March. It's been bullish exactly up until the 25th of May. It's been bullish. But afterwards, after this date, the market reversed in wave and it's becoming sideways now. And Kumo shows flat, Kijun Sen is flat, Chikou Span getting closer so in this condition I won't expect the market goes up this way so uh, so I draw the trend line I draw the trend line like this way 
but uh, it might be broken downwards here. So we have to be very exact on which pair is trending, which one's ranging on higher time frames. But yeah, at the same time, it's been challenging uh, for the couple of, couple of weeks recently because it's been retracing and ranging, bouncing. So this is where you have to be very patient. All right, Ko and Tai, Ali, really good to see you, Fights, thank you for joining. Deborah, Muhammad, Dero, good to see you. Sorosh, thank you for joining, good to see you too. All right, I have no positions at the moment. No positions. All right, who? And uh, Nguyen, good to see you here. Radko, thank you for joining. All right. Ashok, good to see you. Radko says you are absolutely right with exit. Yeah, so exit is also part of the process. And loss is also part of the process. So, and that's why I say we have to see performance on overall. We cannot just be happy on one single trade or we cannot be sad or frustrated on a couple of losses. Because these should be the part of the process as a whole. So after the month and after the yearly basis, if you can win, and that's good. I'm like that. I'm like I'm like that traders because I follow a daily chart, forward chart trends, and I only use five or fifteen to catch the edges. Otherwise, I won't take any trades. So, and I'm only interested in the performance for the monthly basis or yearly basis, and that's why I don't really focus on these small trades small uh, result on the trace. Yes, that's right. Shamal, good to see you. Gabriel, thank you for joining, Gabby. All right, good to see you here. Crystal and Arukadi, thank you for joining as well. All right, Marcus, thank you for joining from Germany. Good to see you. Malcolm, thank you for joining too. Yeah, uh, this month has been quite difficult. In the month of May was also difficult too. But so far it's been difficult for the month of June, but we never know. Next week we might see big trends, which is usually the case on these forex pairs. So, we'll see. Until then, we have to Keep trying, because we never know when it's going to happen, when the big wave is going to happen. We never know. So until then, whenever we see potential potential uh, trading edges, we have to keep trading. Otherwise, you will miss the big wave. Usually, people, uh, people quit trading until they see the big wave. I mean, before they see the big wave, they exit or um, they run out, run out of the money because they have been risking so much money into the markets and um, they cannot be consistent in that way. I was like that too before. I was looking for a um, nice trend, nice pips and that was my only interest. So when I was in, when I used to trade used to trade like that, my wins were sometimes I get the wins, but sometimes I get losses, and uh, it was almost like a break even lo slight losses overall on a monthly basis. So now I decided not to take trades like that anymore, and really look for which one to be in the trade, which one not to be in the trade. But that requires patience, of course. Yeah, Danny says, um, Hi K, it would be great to see a video featuring range-bound indicators working in conjunction with Ichimoku. Um, sure, yeah. Um, I have talked about this uh, range trade on the Ichimoku community. To, uh, you can use Kijun-sen 
and draw line, support line, resistance line, and Kijun Sen will tell you the market level, the mid price, and uh, you can take trades in the range market like that. But personally, I don't really take trades that way. I used to take trades in the range, but uh, I found that it's not really efficient because the market is not trending, so I cannot follow the trend overall. And that's why I simply I don't take trades like that. But uh, yeah, there is a strategy uh, with Ichimoku to take trades in the range market. Yes. All right, so Rush, uh, he says, uh, could you look at Bitcoin P wave in forward chart and uh, talk about your thoughts, all right? Yeah, let me check some pairs now and also a couple of markets. So let's look at the Bitcoin. And by the way, I don't take trades in the cryptocurrencies. So this is just my view, just for information. But um, here is a Bitcoin in the daily chart. This is bearish still. It's bearish, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. But Chikou Span is get, getting closer. But technically, Chikou Span below the candles. So this is bearish for me in the daily chart. And with that in mind, I look at the forward chart. And as for the forward chart, this is um, it's ranging basically. The market goes up and down, and there is no direction to it. Um, since the uh, since eighth of June has been uptrending, but um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Uh, it, it might be resisted here at the previous high, and it might be rest backwards soon. So uh, maybe we can draw a trend line, descending trend line, like uh, this way. Yeah, so uh, th there is a trend line, a descending trend line, and the market is at that level, so it might be pushed down this way. Let me check the one hour chart. In one, it's been bullish, but now we've got lots of doji candlesticks, and looks like these doji candlesticks been broken downwards as this uh, engulfing structure. Let me enlarge the candlesticks. This is a typical reversal pattern in the market as per candlesticks. You get these uh, three doji candlesticks and the previous candles high and low has been engulfing these three candles and it looks like it's been, it might be broken downwards this way. And when it does, then the market might go down this way continuously. So here, if you're thinking about buying this at the moment, if this were the forex pairs or the markets that I usually trade, I won't take a buy here because I can see the potential reversal structure by these candlestick patterns. I will make sure, like I usually say, I will make sure to wait for the breakout and um, retest could be happen and I will look for the buy chance afterwards. This is this is where you don't want to take trace because we never know uh, whether it's going to be broken upwards or downwards. As per daily chart, as we saw earlier, this is downtrending, so it could break downwards this way. So that's my view. Okay, the real says, um, do you take trades on Swiss franc JPY? Um, yes, I do take trades on the Swiss franc JPY. So let me take a look at that one soon. Dylan says, uh, on Wednesday, I trade, take trade on Euro Swiss franc, then the price touch my stop loss break even, but today the price is ranging after the news. Yeah, so when it's ranging, then no trades. We have to stay away from these markets. Yeah, that's right, uh, Melanie. You will still be quite volatile after the CPI report. Customer price index has been 
volatile. And gold is going up so much, but overall, market in gold is ranging, so I don't simply still take trace. Let me switch to gold quickly. So here is, so let me look at the one hour chart. In one hour chart, this was exactly when the news was released on the CPI, the market was went up because the USD was sold and that's why gold go up this way and now it's been consolidating it has been bearish so if it continues to be bearish then uh, I was thinking to sell gold but uh, after the news it went up all, all the way and this is also an structure engulfing structure this is outside bar so uh, it's been including the past uh, couple of candles in the past and once it breaks this way it can go up continuously so in that sense that news has actually changed it might change the market direction starting from this one hour chart it can go up afterwards so tomorrow could be bullish or next week could be bullish on gold, is my view. Okay, let's see. Alright, uh, alright, Malcolm, thank you for joining to see here. So let me check the Swiss franc JPY. And then uh, Euro Swiss franc, let's check. So Forex Swiss Run JPY starting from the daily chart. This is bullish. Yep, the Kumo's up and Kijun Sen is up. Price above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, and Chikou span above the candles. So the market could break the resistance level, which is at around 122.58 level. It can break upwards. And with that in mind, let me go down to one hour chart. Okay, in one hour chart, uh, after the news, it spike up, but now it's retracing backwards. So better to wait for the breakout of the daily resistance of 122.52, and then we'll look for the buy chance. Or it might be retracing and goes up this way too. Yeah. The Kumo's too thin here. Kumo's very thin and Kijun Sen flat and Chikou Span touching. So, um, yeah, and the market retracing backwards. Yeah, when you see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching, then most likely. The market will be resisted here and goes backwards this way. So I think it might take a couple of more hours until it breaks. So we can set the alert up to uh, like 122.56 level. And once it triggers, you can come back to chart. Otherwise, you can just stay away from the chart for now. All right, and the Euro is run. In a daily chart, this is still downtrending. I posted this a Euro Sysfran analysis yesterday and today because I find that these are, I think this is a nice downtrend still. So this is the post from yesterday. I expect the market goes down after the triangle breakout and a support line breakout, it could go down. And today, if I can forward the candlesticks, uh, it's been still bearish. So um, so this is today's analysis. This is still bearish. So uh, I have been looking for the sell chance, but uh, today I was also watching the charts, but uh, I wasn't able to look, capture the nice edge on this particular pair, so simply I'm not really taking trades on this one. Let me check one hour chart. In one, it's flat. So this is also an outside bar. 
and now it's ranging retracing so unless the market breaks the support at this 108 sorry 1.08 uh, 9.5 level I will be staying away because the market could retrace backwards or it could be in the range for a couple more hours in this condition okay uh, Gabby says uh, USCCAD alright let me check the USCCAD here is a daily chart and now it's going down, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, and one thing I like about this downtrend is that the Kumo is gaining thickness. So when you see Kumo gaining thickness like this way, then the market could go, could push down, and uh, it can go bearish and breaks the support line this way. And Kijun Sen is pointing down, Chikou Span still below the candles and Senko Span A is pointing down and I can see that there is a triangle the highs are lower and the lows are at the same level so this is descending P wave and I expect the market breaks downwards this way still let me check the 1 hour time frame oh it looks like 1 hour chart is uh, wow well, this is very tricky it's like the M shape. You can find the M like this way. This is a very tricky market. So uh, unless the market breaks the support in this condition, I mean um, at least the previous support in one hour chart, which is on 1.20581 um, level. If it happens, then I will look for the selling edge, otherwise the market can still keep going up and down this way. Yeah, there is no trend in one hour chart in this case. Let me squeeze the candles in one. And yeah, this is... Yeah, it's been very, very tricky market in this condition. So that's the uh, USC CAD. All right, Shamal says, uh, "Can we set an alert on the slope of the Senko Span A, Senko Span B in Trading View?" Um, I think you can. I have I haven't tried yet, but uh, I think you can right-click on the Ichimoku indicator and uh, add alert on Ichimoku, and you can uh, pick uh, lead one or two. I think lead 1 is Senko Span A, lead 2 is Senko Span B. So if you want the Senko Span B angle and alert, then you click the lead 2 and you can uh, choose the uh, moving down, up or down. Let's say moving down. And then, um, yeah, I think this is, this is good. You can uh, set alert on the Kumo angle. Or any angles, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. You can put the alert on the trading view. Yeah, this is really a nice feature about the trading view. You can set alert on any, almost all the indicators. All right, yeah, Malcolm, you're welcome. All right, Channel for Kids, uh, thank you for joining. Good to see you. He says, sir, we are all blessed we have a trading mentor like you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to do this every day. Yes, uh, let's see. If I it says um, NGDC AD, please. All right, NGDC AD. Let me put that one up here because I don't usually trade on the NGD pairs because it's volatile in lower time frames and... Uh, Usually the brokers offers higher spread. But here is the music ad and this is the daily chart. Looks like um, the Kumo is down, Kijun Sen is flat, Chikou Span below the candles. So this is still ranging, I would say. This is not really downtrending, but it's ranging. 
because Kijun Sen flat and Chikou span getting closer, and the market is has uh, these uh, two supports over here, and um, yeah, it could go up in this direction. Let me check for our chart. In four, the price is exactly in the Kumo now, and this is in the P wave structure. So this is there is no trend in this condition. Yeah, I would stay away in this particular market. But let me go down to one hour chart. Yeah, in one hour chart too, Kumo is too tiny, and uh, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are up, but Chikou Span is still very close to the candles and price itself is within the Kumo now, so um, it can go up or down anytime. I mean, um, it, the market might break the Kumo upwards because this is where the Kumo is very thin. So the market might break the Kumo upwards because of this Kumo itself right now is too young, too short. It might reverse backwards anytime soon. It might be reversing at the previous resistance level of 0.87 211 level and it might break uh, it might reverse at that level so in this condition i would stay away and look for other markets for edges all right so rush you're welcome you went says um can you take a look at euro sysfran all right euro sysfran i think we saw earlier already but uh Let's see, on the daily chart, this is still bearish. For those who are newly joining on this live stream, uh, Euro Sysfran, I think this is downtrending because the Kumo's down, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Spun below the candles on this daily chart. And in one hour time frame, this is ranging now. So I'm simply waiting for the break of the support of uh, one point. 0895 level when it does then i will look for the sell chance otherwise it could go up and down in the range so i think uh the way i see markets are very simple simply i look at the kumo kijun sen tenkan sen chikou span to see overall market conditions and also I draw lines and I do look at the price actions on these higher time frames too like a double top or engulfing structures I also look at it but uh, yeah after almost eight years of forex trades um, full time now my eyes are very simple like this before I used to use many indicators and tools but now I prefer to be more simple because uh, that's the way it should be all right that says that uh, ethereum all right let me just check i think it's uh still downtrending let me see okay daily chart Ethereum USD, this is, uh, yeah, it's uh, ranging now in the P wave structure. It's ranging, no trend, squeezing right now. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, so in that sense, this is bearish, but Chikou Span is too close. Let me check one hour chart. In one, it's also ranging. The price is exactly in the Kumo now, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Chikou span touching, so we never know which way it's going. So simply, I would stay away until the market goes either direction with a stable, more stable trending market. All right, uh, PNP, thank you for joining to see here. Yeah, the gold is going up right now, and it's retracing backwards now. Alright, Irvin says, um, Hi K, how long did you trade on demo account before using real money? Um, that was uh, for two years. Yeah, two years. It was a demo account. Yeah, and when I lost money, when I lost uh, 
the, for the first one and a half year, two years, I also came back to demo account until I became confident on my trace. Okay, uh, Seth says, uh, when will the stream start? Oh, the stream, live stream start almost every day at uh, 14 UTC. It starts at 14 UTC almost every day. I say almost every day because uh, due to my personal schedule or reasons, I might not gonna be able to do the live stream videos every day. So, uh, because tomorrow, Tomorrow I will be going out almost all day, so uh, I might not gonna be able to find a time to record a video. If that's the case, I will announce it to on the Twitter and also this uh, YouTube community, so you will know my cancellation. But otherwise, uh, the videos or live streams start at 14 UTC, 2 p.m. UTC time zone. Let's see, Channel for Kids says, uh, Sir, the institution uses now a day price action strategy. Is it right? If right, then how we can, how can we um, use it with Ichimoku strategy? Price action strategy, um, yeah, obviously, institution traders use price action or uh, lines, support line, resistance lines, but uh, Ichimoku has uh, actually its unique, its own unique view about the market besides price action. For example, you can capture potential breakout by using Ichimoku lines, or you can do time cycles, or price theory, price theory to capture which way, or the price target by the uh, by the waveforms. So yeah, actually there are lots more. That you can do them price action with Ichimoku for sure. Alright, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining. Danny B says uh, would be great to see another video featuring Bollinger Bands. 200 period. Alright, 200 period Bollinger Bands, I never use it because I use 20 period. But uh, yeah, I can talk about it. When I take trace, really. When I take trace, I will talk about Because I want to be more like a practical. Now the market has been ranging, and when it's ranging, even if I talk about these lower time frames with the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics, it doesn't really make sense, because this is not what I do. I only talk about what I do, and if I don't do it, then I won't talk about it. So, just to respect everyone, uh, I am very cautious in that sense. So, trading view I use, so I talk about it, and Forex Tester I use, so I talk about it. Ichimoku I use, and I talk about it. But besides that, I I, I don't want to really talk about. So, cryptocurrencies, um, I don't trade cryptocurrencies, so. I don't really talk about it unless I got the requests. So, so yeah, it's 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 been ranging now basically on these forex pairs. So I think this is a good timing to sit back and relax and enjoy your day. Let's see. Tomorrow we have a. Uh, News Euro G7 meeting will be there, and also Michigan uh, sentiment index will be there. But that, these will be only two announcements for uh, for Friday. So I guess, uh, but we never know. Even if you have no news in the market, sometimes the market will start trending. I've seen this pattern many times. So it's not only the news that makes the market move. Sometimes without any news in a day, you might see a new trend. So 
that's why I say we have to keep ch textures every day so that you get you, you get used to the markets and movements because uh, when I was losing for the first two years sometimes I stopped looking at the charts for maybe a couple of days three days or four days I stopped looking at the charts and when I came back to charts after these days of the absence uh, first initial initial thought was I wasn't able to read the markets as I used to do before I lost a sense and it took me a while to catch up the sense although it was only three days or four days of absence uh, it took me to catch up maybe two weeks or so so that was my fail I think it's it's the same about anything like when you master when you want to master one thing then you have to keep keep doing it and keep practicing it the violin too if I don't play the violin for a couple of weeks then I will lose a sense I think uh, training too the physical training also uh, you might need more time to pick up than forgetting about it so it's not the way how it is so that's why I say even if you're losing even if you are not finding any trains not finding any edges I still recommend you to see chart at least once a day once a day will this do I don't ask you to see charts long hours just look at chart one day and just one time will be okay and by, because that will support you for sure all right cloudy thank you for joining yeah you're welcome Jeff you're welcome too and Gabby you're welcome too all right my says uh, oh I cannot read the comments so if you can write in English that'd be great all right, uh, Venant says, uh, Hi K, thank you as usual. Could you look at GER30, German Stock Index? All right, let me check that one. Okay, let me pop up uh, GER30 with that name. I have DAX here, but let's see. This one is the daily chart. This is bullish. The Kumo's up. Kijun Sen flat but Chikou span above the candles. So this is continuously bullish. Now the price is at the Tenkan Sen level. And um, this is consecutively uh, bullish in the waves. So it can go up continuously this way. But once the market reaches back to the Kijun Sen and breaks the Kijun Sen, then you won't look for buy chance anymore unless the market is above unless the market breaks the Kijun Sen this is bullish overall Fight says uh, when the daily ends why the market spikes up and down Oh, when the day ends, why the market spikes up and down? Um, that will be usually happens. That happens usually because there are closing positions on the New York sessions. Uh, traders in New York close the session, and that's why it goes spiky. And even retail traders close the positions in the day, and that can also cause these spikes. These are very minor spikes, but. Uh, that's all the also part of the whole volatility. Yeah, Dai and Faiz, you're welcome here. You're welcome. Right, Sander says, Hi K, any idea as to what the family or of a Goichi Hoso are doing now nowadays? Uh, are they one of the big traders in Japan? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure because uh, yeah, they're not really out. Uh, in this public so uh, yeah and ever since I, ha I have read these original books but um, 
I mean uh, here. This is one of the original books of Ichimoku, and uh, I have basically learning the knowledge from this book, so uh, I'm not really paying attention to what they're doing right now. And of course, my view about the market is my original. Like, uh, Goichi Hosoda never talk about multiple time frames. Originally, Ichimoku was created based on the daily chart because back then everything was handwriting. Uh, the candlesticks and prices, daily prices were all handwriting. So uh, that's why Goichi Hosoda. Uh, Came up, with the, came up with the idea of seeing the charts in multiple terms, multiple time frames. So Kumo shows long term, and uh, Kijun Sen shows mid term, and Tenkan Sen shows short term. So that at a glance, you know which way the market is going, how the market is moving in these three terms. So back then, because everything was handwritten, there was no PC, so no one was able to move the time frames like this that we can do. Like one, one single click, we can switch time frames for, as of now. But back then, there were no such functions. And that's why originally, Ichimoku was built to see charts in multiple terms like this. All right, channel for kids, you're welcome. All right, Jay says, uh, yeah, good evening. Any view on AUD USD? All right, let me see. AUD USD. Uh, it's exactly in a range. This is a beautiful range that I would stay away. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chipo span is overlapping and price exactly in the Kumo and price has been in the Kumo for a couple of days in the past so this is purely ranging market also there are wicks up and downwards and when I see the wicks I would away stay away it's a very tricky market in this condition yeah crystal you're welcome here Okay, so I will be ending the live stream in about a couple of minutes and then switch it to the Ichimoku membership live afterwards and continue to discuss in the markets. Let me see, Nifty, all right, let me quickly check Nifty. Nifty daily chart is up now, come up, Kijun Sen up, so this is bullish. We have this uh, engulfing candlestick inside bar. So uh, once it breaks, it can go up continuously this way. So in this condition, because we have this engulfing structure, we better wait for the break of the resistance one, uh, sorry, 15.799 level. And then wait for the breakout and look for buy chance is my recommendation. Otherwise, it might retrace backwards and breaks the Tenkan Sen downwards in this condition. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, I get lots of comments now, but uh, unfortunately I have to go. So, yeah, but thank you for joining everyone. After the live stream ends, I come back to the live stream and recheck all the comments and enjoy these comments and questions. So, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Sorry I wasn't able to do the live stream for the last three days because I was outside of home. So I had to record videos and upload. So hopefully you can continue to learn between videos and live streams on my YouTube channel. 
And if you liked it, please press a good button, good button before you leave. And I am still preparing for over 30k subscribers live stream, special live stream. And you will get the announcement soon. Okay, so uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. And uh, see you soon. So please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Alright, bye for now everyone. Matane. Thank you.